Hey guys, how are we doing again? Um, today we're going to show you how to check if your fork seals are bad on your bike. Uh, a lot of people, they don't think about it. They, buy, they go and buy a project bike real cheap. They think, oh, this is just easy. I'll just take it to the shop, get it inspected, all done. Everything works on it. Well, that's all nice, but come to an inspection station, they're real picky about certain things. Now, if we look at this bike, this is the 2000 Suzuki Savage we were going to look at before. If you zoom in here, you can come in and look. And already we can see on the left side, we have a grease ring around here. And all you really got to do, if they're bad, is just run your finger up once. And if you feel any kind of oily residue or you got dirt and grime and grease that's coming up, your fork seal's bad. The other way to check, I mean, the right one right now is leaking just a little bit, but the left one's bad. You always want to do both your fork seals. There's no point to doing only one at a time because you got to take the whole thing apart. So if you want to zoom out, we're going to show you. Basically, all you need to do is take your bike, like so. Hold your front brake in. And just flex in and out on the forks. You can already feel with this bike that the suspension is kind of loose, but the forks, they should not be this springy like this. The second way is once you press down on this, now you can see from doing that, it's exposed more grease and more oil leaking up as it is. So these are bad. These are going to need to be replaced. We're going to do a video on that once we get the parts in. Uh, at the same time, when we do that, we're going to be replacing the front tire and balancing it because it's already there and has to be taken out. And we're going to be replacing the front brake pads. 